Okay, so hello everyone again, and thank you for introducing me. So the topic of my presentation is uh, uh, NPG as a way to start GS professional experience. And uh, in my presentation, I will give a short background of myself and of the company I'm working uh, right now and uh, then instead of focusing on one project in detail so I thought maybe it's better to uh, present uh, like make short presentations of several projects just to give you an idea of the scope and variety uh, of areas we're working and so you see the list of the projects selected projects and I will finish with some uh, conclusions uh, so, um, as you heard already, I'm uh, alumni and I studied uh, photogrammetry and ge geoinformatics course uh, in 2002, 2004. Uh, and after the course, I came uh, back to my country, Lithuania, and now I'm working in a JS company. So before coming to study uh, this master course, I didn't have any professional experience. I didn't work in any company. So, but my interest was GS. Actually, it was very good to, to learn uh, related fields like photogrammetry, remote sensing, uh, um, IT things. Um, and um, actually, when I came back to my country, uh, uh, I applied uh, maybe to four or five companies and everyone was glad to have me because of this education. So, um, and myself, I felt somehow confident because I had uh, knowledges and I had some uh, practical also knowledges of, of the field. So, uh, since my interest was in JS, so I chose uh, a leading company in, in JS field in the Baltic countries. So the name of the company is Hnit Baltic and it, uh, it is Lithuanian Icelandic uh, based company. Uh, uh, it was founded in 1993. We also have some uh, daughter companies in Latvia and Estonia and we have about 60-65 uh, uh, employees in our company. And in case you are not very familiar with the Baltic uh, region, so I put a map and you see all these three countries, within, uh, the, uh, most to the south. So uh, the company's activities are um, GS application and solution development. Also uh, we uh, sell uh, GS software, so we are distributors of uh, ArcGIS of SRI software and also some we sell survey equipments and provide consulting, uh, support and training. Okay, so let's go to the project. So uh, the first project is uh, Cadaster of Protected Areas. So it was my first project when I came to the company. So uh, the Objectives of the project was to, to build a database, to design, to make specification of the database, and also to create, to populate the database. Uh, next to this was uh, development of uh, management tools uh, or for the cadastre of protected areas, so basically building a GS of the cadastre, and um, also uh, web GS was a part of it. Uh, my tasks in this uh, project were quite simple. We, uh, we had um, analog maps scanned and registered. Uh, so uh, my task was to vectorize boundaries of protected areas, also to uh, fill some attribute data. Uh, some other people were also doing uh, vectorization, vectorization, so also uh, um, I made some uh, quality assurance, such as topological, checking topological rules and, and so on, and also some documentation. So on the screen I put some um, screenshots, 
So from this you can see um, uh, WebGIS application. So uh, it has um, basic map navigation tools. Also you can search uh, a specific uh, protected area and you can get some statistics, some information and, and so on. So uh, here, uh, here you can see a link to this uh, application. So if you're interested, you can check and see how it works. Uh, we also had uh, two projects with uh, map, uh, noise mapping. So this was for uh, two municipalities, two cities, uh, Kona city and Klaipeda city. So you see on the map marked these cities. So Kona is the second uh, biggest <coughs> in Lithuania and Klaipeda is the seaport of Lithuania. Uh, we had to calculate or uh, evaluate uh, noise uh, from road roads from railways and also industrial noise levels. So you see uh, maps, prepared maps we used um, to calculate uh, noise uh, uh, from roads. We used uh, software called uh, uh, noise map uh, and um, for railway and uh, industrial uh, noise, we could not use uh, this software because it didn't have such capabilities. So we had co subcontractor, and they used uh, a German software, IMI. Uh, so we got result from them, and then we could do analysis. So we had to uh, define silent zones and to find. Uh, zones that need uh, protection uh, or prevention where the um, level of uh, noise is too high and also to um, assess a number of people who are exposed to the noise. So my task uh, was at the beginning to prepare data as an input data for the uh, software to calculate uh, noise and also I did some maps because some municipalities uh, required some noise maps and uh, after some time I also took uh, some uh, project management tasks. So actually we didn't have to implement any um, WebGIS but uh, Konas municipality uh, uh, enterprise uh, they were interested and they developed, uh, they had ArcGIS, so they decided to publish these maps. So uh, here you also have a link and you can see uh, Konas city uh, noise maps if you want. So, so far uh, it's in Lithuanian the interface, but yeah, anyway, it gives some uh, clue. Uh, the next project uh, is Register of Cultural Heritage. So again, we had to develop a GIS system and WebGIS was a part of it. Uh, my task uh, was uh, to test the application functionality. So uh, since uh, the system was quite big and it was my first uh, time I was testing software, so it was quite tricky for me and big challenge. Uh, and uh, yeah, the system was uh, quite big. Uh, you had uh, like, there were several roles uh, for people who ad uh, administering and uh, editing the um, database of uh, cultural heritage. And also there was a uh, WebGIS application. So you also see on the screen some uh, print shots of the public, uh, publicly uh, available um, map. You can, again, you have some map navigation tools and uh, you can make search. Then you get some detail uh, and on every object. So in the map you have the base map and um, 